guys, um, I'm here with Jean, and I am going to be doing my first brass lesson project right now. It's going to be done in a couple different parts, so we'll label this one part one. And um, yeah, we're going to get started and start learning the basics with the trombone, and hopefully we can get a couple songs out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, well, obviously you have your trombone with you, and um, the most important thing about playing any wind instrument, especially brass wind instruments, are um, your your breath support. You have to have really good air. <clears throat> so you can, you know, the air is what causes the, the vibrations and actually makes the sound. So um, before we even open it, we're just going to go through a couple quick little breathing things just to make sure we're setting correctly, taking in enough air, and, you know, that you've got your air pretty focused. So whenever we actually get the instrument, it won't sound like a dying animal. Hopefully. Too much. <laughs> um, okay. So whenever you're playing, you want to set up straight. Um, make sure your shoulders are kind of back and just relax. And um, you want to feel just really open up through here. Mm -hmm. And whenever you breathe, you want to breathe really deep. So you want to feel the expansion in your stomach. That's one of the beautiful thing about playing you know, with instruments. It's okay to look back because that means you're breathing properly. So whenever you take in breath, all this should expand. You should feel the expansion down here. Okay, good. Um, so we're just going to do a couple quick like, breathing things. Um, we're going to breathe in for four counts, and I will snap the counts out so we know when. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to try to breathe out for eight counts and breathe out through a, like a, a straw. Okay? Okay. Ready? Okay, so out with the old air. And then breathe in. Feeling pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can do that for eight counts. So we're going to breathe in for four and then out for, uh, let's do it for 12. We just did for eight. So, okay. Ready? So out with the old air. Breathe in. And out. Okay. Feel pretty good? Okay, whenever you get to where you feel like you're running out of air, the, the most important thing you can do, don't, don't like push in on yourself or hunker down, which is what we naturally want to do. Give your stomach that little kick to suck in or to, to blow out that extra little bit of air that you have down in there short, okay? Okay. So, yeah, you feel pretty good with the breathing exercise? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and get at least the mouthpiece of the trombone now. So, to open your case, you're going to want to lay it down um, with the label facing up. Okay, so that way, you know, it doesn't fall out on you whenever you flip it over. Okay, go ahead and undo the tab. And watch for the tab so you don't pull back on the stand. Okay, usually your mouthpiece is going to be hidden down on the little secret compartment thing over here. It's to protect it so it doesn't, you know, get damaged or anything like that. Okay, um, how does it feel? Um, it's a little bit cold. It's a little bit cold. Okay. Um, whenever you're playing a brass instrument, one of the most important things is you want to keep it warm. So obviously, whenever you first start, it's going to be a little bit cold. But um, once you start putting air through the instrument, air through the mouthpiece, it's going to warm it up. That'll give you a better tone. That that lets the vibrations vibrate more freely, so it sounds better. Okay. Um, before we put the mouthpiece up, we need to talk about your embouchure, which is a fancy word for your mouth. How you hold your mouth. Um, on the inside, you're just going to be like ah, so go ah. Ah, oh. uh, like you're yawning. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. You should feel really, really open. Uh. So it should feel open. Um, and close your lips. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you go? <laughs> yeah, don't try to do it fancy. Just you get, you know how you see babies, like I don't know, maybe like in, in nurseries and stuff. You just see little kids, and there's no reason to. <laughs> yeah, just do that. Go. <laughs> You tried. There you go. Okay. That's basically what you're doing when you play breath. Okay. Um, all vibrations are happening in your lips. So whenever you play, you want to keep the corners of your lips pretty tight. Okay. Okay. But then you want this part, which is where vibrations happen, to be really loose. So you want to you know. You need them to be really loose. So then you just tighten the corners. Good. Yeah, same basic concept. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can get some buzzing in the mouthpiece. Okay? Okay. Sorry, you can play. Good to go. Okay. So just go ahead and put it up and see if you can get a sort of sound out. Okay. 
Thanks. 